Okay, so this bathroom. Kind of. This is like a multi-step process, basically. Uh, you got to go over and scrape all this stuff. Uh, scrape it, and then put the uh, sealer on it, and then you have to go over with spackle to even it out. It depends upon how intricate you want to get on this stuff. Uh, last time it was painted, they didn't do much. It just it's chips over chips basically at this point. Um, we got some stuff here on the wall that needs to be. This needs to be sealed and spackled, so we're going to make sure it's nice and fairly clean, sanded, uh, put the sealer primer on it, and then we can fill it in with spackle, and then we'll have to paint over that. So, you know, anytime you got this, like, this kind of chipping paint, there's some chip paint right there, too. Um, anytime you got those, it's like a multi-step process in order to kind of deal with them correctly so uh got some here behind the vanity and uh yeah it's, i mean to do it right that's what you got to do i mean you can always just kind of roughly you know scrape it or sand it and then paint over it but you know then it's going to end up like that where it's like chips over chips kind of thing okay so i got this primed this is pretty much uh, what I did is uh, I took uh, some bleach and this stuff and uh, kind of scrubbed this down really good and uh, let it dry overnight. Next day, put the uh, the primer on it. I think I got the Kills Kills primer and uh, so the Kills primer's on there. Then I'm ready to fill in this crap with the spackling compound. Uh, these holes and stuff. Got this crack up here. This is this one here is actually a drywall seam. It's gone bad, and I may actually have to use some webbing in that to cover that up. I got that part done. I touched up some of the cupboards that were a little ragged on the edges. Uh, this wall here. This area here. I'm going to have to spackle here. We got moisture down by the bottom of the windows. Cracks up here. I sanded and primed. And I'm going to have to put some spackle on those too. <clears throat> In the bathroom. It's pretty much sanded and primed this point. Now I'm going to have to put some spackle over that to even it out and then sand it down. Same with this wall. Spackle, sand. And so we're taking these down. This is going to be all new stuff up here. And uh, got this bedroom done. I uh, primed this area here. I scrubbed it down with that uh, cleaner. And prime that. And then we got this one here. Basically scrubbed and primed. And I also did the window sills. Basically scrubbed and primed. And so uh, a couple of spots here were kind of dirty. I had to prime. So, uh, yeah, it's about 3.30 right now. I think I'm about done for today. Let's see, we got some bugs on here. So, uh, yeah, continue next episode. Okay, so, uh, I got, I went over the ceiling again. Still has a little bit of a ripple, you can see. Um, I want to let you guys know that, uh, it's not a good idea to skimp on the dollar store stuff. Uh, I got this dollar store uh, painter thing. And it's got this hump in the middle. And then also, this is dollar store roller. This dollar store roller comes off, the roller comes off. So this dollar store thing does not hold the roller on good. So uh, I'm not, not gonna be dollar store in it anymore. Um, I got these walls here. It's a little bit of a, 
uh, differentiation, but uh, when it dries, it'll probably look better. Um, I got this wall here, and I got that wall, so that's pretty much done. And then she wants to paint the trim a different color, so I got all these walls here done. And uh, I'm finishing up this wall, and uh, I got to put the uh, socket covers. I got new socket covers. Put those on, and we're gonna finish this up here, this wall today, and call it a day. Um, and so one of the, one of the reasons why I do this, and I always save all the receipts and stuff, um, is to because uh, you know, a lot of people they're like. Well, how much time did you spend, you know? And it's like, gee, you know, uh, it took you that long to do it? And I'm like, yep, it takes a long time sometimes. You got to do a lot of prep, particularly that thing right there was a lot of prep work. And actually, I'd like to redo it a little bit better, but it depends upon, you know, how these people feel uh, about it. And so, yeah, I managed to get by, but just that little step ladder right there. And this is like, uh, that's like a, eight foot ceiling there right there so I was able to get by with that little step ladder um, I didn't have to use the extension and by the way this is a dollar store uh, thing and it, it doesn't have any threads and it. it looks like you could put a pole in there but it doesn't have any threads in it uh, maybe a different kind of, a different kind of pole I was gonna use this I had some trim that I was gonna put in there and make that so I could reach up there and do that um, on the ceiling with the roller um, but this is this is the standard pole right here for uh, you know the reach pole for the uh, roller, and it does not screw into that dollar store roller because it's too small. Uh, that dollar store roller is too small, and there's no threads in it. So I'm not stupid on the materials anymore. And so yeah, uh, so that's my little uh, progress report. And so. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.